No. They don't have teeth. Abby, yes, they do have teeth. So here's Porky. He's about three months old. Guess what? Tigers have. We're going to keep him here in the barn in this little cage overnight, and then we'll introduce him to Petunia in the morning. He's a boy, right? He's a boy, yep. He's a boy. Here we go. Taking Porky down to meet Pumba and Petunia. Um, I think I can probably lift him over the gate, don't you think? If you help me. I mean with mom, I can lift him. We've got some milk for the pigs. They're talking to each other. <laughs> And we've got some apples and their breakfast. Is that good, Petunia? Huh? No, the bottom one's impossible. I'm not doing that. I'm not tall enough. Not tall enough. Got it? No. Maxwell, go push on that end. Yeah, push up. There you go. And should I open it? Should I open it, Mom? Yeah, you can open it. Here you go, dude. Wow, he went right out. Look at him. He's so little compared to them. Oh, he's already digging. He's already digging. He's like, oh, I like this. Uh-oh. So I thought he was going to steal his milk. Maxwell. Don't you dare eat my coat. You better go Hello. and um, plug the fence in. Plug the fence in. Come on, guys, you gotta be friends. Right? Well, soon we'll butcher Pumba. Okay. Right, Mom? Yeah. Better not go through. Oh, look, there goes Petunia. I think Petunia's just curious. Yeah. Well, Petunia's just curious. Okay, guys, you gotta go chase him back through. <laughs> there go the cows are chasing him. Oh no, pigs out. So the donkeys and the cows chased Porky back in where he belongs. <clears throat>
and poop pen. And I like it better. They're all following where he goes. So the farm where we got Porky from, we told them that he ran away and they said, oh, come get Porky's brother. He will recognize the noises and hopefully come back to see his brother. So our plan is to put, so we've named this guy Elmer Fudd. We're gonna put Elmer Fudd in his crate in here for the time being. So hopefully he can get used to Petunia and Pumba, and but we're not letting him out of the crate just yet. So here's Elmer Fudd. Elmer Fudd! Oh yeah! Sorry guys, don't spill the water. Elmer Fudd. Getting some food and water. Elmer Fudd! Elmer. Are you Elmer? Hoping that Porky will hear him and smell him and come back home. Keep making noise, Elmer Fudd. We want Porky to hear you. So we're out here. We're gonna make a f part of the fence. We're gonna use two cattle panels and make a fence for Elmer so that he can learn to be friends with Porky and Petunia. No, sorry, Pumba and Petunia which this is what we should have done when we brought Porky home. They need to um, learn where they belong and learn to be friends with the rest of the herd. So we should have done this when we brought Porky home. So we'll see how it goes with Elmer. Pumba and Petunia, their bellies are full of grape peels and grape seeds. And here is what we have built for Elmer. We're gonna let him in that little crate overnight with some food and water. But we built a little triangle out of some old cattle panel. We cut a hole in here for the hot wire so he can get used to the hot wire. We're not taking any chances this time. Is that right, Elmer? Yeah. yeah. So, we've decided that um, Elmer needs to get quite a bit tamer before we can let him run with Pumba and Petunia. But that means that his little triangle pen here is too small for long term and he doesn't have shade or protection from the elements. So today we dug this out of one of the old sheds and we're going to make his pen a little bigger and we're going to see if we can rig up some shade and some protection from the weather. Okay guys, look at what we found this morning when we were taking garbage down. Mitchell, don't run. Porky is back. You see him? He found his brother 
he's trying to get in. Um, we could open the gate, Mitchell. Should we open the gate and let oh him no, in? The big pigs might get out. What if we? What if we? Guys, put, it's Porky. He didn't if, come back. What if we put? What he came back. Dog kennel and Jesus I put answered food, our prayers. And I put food in it. And put then food in the dog he, kennel. And then we close it when he. When he gets right in. Right beside. Okay. Porky, you know yep. I mean? Yep. You go Where get the dog kennel. Dog? It's up by the hose. Yeah, but he still has to put him yeah. in. Yeah. I don't want him in by. Oh, maybe he's gonna go in that way. I hope not. But then he can't get back into his litter mate. He's gonna try to get out again. <coughs> the pigs! Get out, Porky! Run! Mitchell, stop video taking, please. Hey! You got it, Mom! <laughs> hey! I gotta get him up there. You gotta pick him up, like, around the waist. Okay. Oh, you got it. Porky is the dark red one. Yeah, he's skinnier. He probably hasn't had anything to eat. So I came down here to check how everybody's doing. Everybody seems to be settling in nicely. I sure am glad we made this pen bigger yesterday. Little did we know that we would need it for two pigs. You be nice, Pumba. Everybody's trying to find their spot in the pecking order which is normal when you add new animals. <laughs> 